At a regular meeting of the town council of the town of Christiansburg, Virginia, the town desires to update its noise ordinance. This article shall be known and referred to as the noise ordinance of the town of Christiansburg, Virginia. As far as options to the sound go, um, I can't, I've had people tell me, why don't you relocate? I can't relocate. I don't have the money to relocate. And the houses back there, um, they moved in knowing they moved in behind the drive-in. And why wouldn't it be noise? We're showing movies outside at night. Why wouldn't it be noise? Daddy built this whole place, Richard Beasley. He come up here and it was a cornfield. Uh, behind us, there was nothing, nothing at all. That was back in 1952. We wasn't even in the town limits back then. Yeah, we were two miles east of Christiansburg. The Starlight Drive-In enjoyed early success, but its outdated sound system used a series of small speakers, which were easy to damage or steal. Some vehicles would use the radio broadcast alternative, but after idling during the entire feature-length film, many would end up with drained car batteries, forcing Peggy to spend her nights jumping her customers' vehicles. For the first 60 years of the drive-in, we had the uh, field ray speakers on the poles. And I figured I would keep up with the times and put some better sound speakers up because uh, the speakers would get, were getting stolen. They were getting pulled off and run over, the poles, the poles being pulled over. So I called the town council. I, told, I called the mayor, the chief of police, and the town manager. The town manager was the one that said, go ahead. He said, go ahead and do it. You know what you're doing. The chief of police and the mayor never did call me back, but at least Mr. Helms did. So I got the big speakers and I put them up here on the roof, on the projection booth. And it wasn't no time at all before the police come over here and said, well, what in the world are you doing? At great personal cost, Peggy has been compliant with the town's requests. Despite this, the town still wanted more. I've been compliant with the town, yes, indeed, as far as that goes, yes. I've moved the speakers from the top of this building to down front. We have since taken the, the bass off. There's no boom, boom, boom. I think it sounds pretty good with no bass. I'm, I'm sure people want it, and maybe that's why they crank their radios up. I don't know but it is clear and concise. I got the radios, the little transistors, I got them on my own, just trying to, you know, put forth some effort. It hasn't really helped. Yeah, I've done, I've done a whole lot to try to accommodate the town, but nothing I do seems to be enough. I, when they were talking about the noise ordinance, and they told me to write down what it was I wanted. And I told them, you know, to give me like 75 or 70 or 75 on the decibel reader. And no, no, no. Due to a zoning oversight, the area surrounding the Starlight Theater was never classified as a business district, allowing for housing development nearby. Despite businesses being allotted 65 decibels, the new ordinance states that regardless of origin, upon reaching a residential district, sounds must not exceed 52 decibels, quieter than most air conditioning units. Seemingly aware of how restrictive their ordinance would be, the town has conveniently exempted any sanctioned events from the ordinance, allowing them to host fundraisers and other events at a noise level which would be illegal for anyone else. Because, see, the high school's exempt with their football games. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to build that um, new park up there off Hickok Street. It's going to be several events, the way I can understand it. And that's all going to be noise exempt. And I really don't get that. I mean, <laughs> the town 
can have events, but why can't they keep them within the noise ordinance like the way I do? I think the drive-in is a wonderful idea. I mean, the people that come up here have a wonderful time, and I, I go out and talk to them from time to time, and oh yes, we love the drive-in, we love the food. We love the chance to get out and sit under the stars and watch a movie. I mean, that is amazing. And I think it's a good thing for the town. I mean, why wouldn't it be a good thing for the town? So I've questioned them many, many times. How come you can't be happy that you got to drive in? You don't have much else in town to go to. And so they don't never answer me on that one. So, yeah, I got the people that are very appreciative and they're very strong about wanting the drive-in to stay open. So, we'll see.